Dr. Vesalius. Just... Oh, congratulations! Thank you. We are very impressed with your work. God bless you, my boy. Stop them. It's me. I'm back. Da 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 da. Did you miss me? Steve? Is that really you? How the. Where the fuck have you been? It's been 70 fucking years! And how are you so young? Uh, maybe it's Maybelline. Don't laugh! It's not funny. Where the fuck have you been? I waited 16 years for you! I was prepared to wait for you. You fucking prick! You know, because of you, I had to have kids with this fucking bozo. Hey, watch it. Oh, you can shut it, egghead. I had a daughter with him. <laughs> I mean, he's no Casanova, but I mean, he's alright. But where the fuck were you? <sighs> I missed you. I missed you too, Bernie. And you know, it's, uh... <clears throat> It's never too late to stop, look, listen to your heart, feel what it says, stop. I'm too old to have kids now. I'm about, I don't know, I think I'm like, I don't know how old I am. I think I'm fucking 87, something like that. You're still that Bernie I know. <laughs> oh, oh, Steve. <laughs> Oh, what the hell? When oh. the moon hits your that eye is more like, like it. Pie, that's I'm so glad I waited 16 years for this. When but I could have waited another like century more. Yeah! Oh, baby. <laughs> Bells will ring, You're very cold, Steve. Ling, ting, ling, ling, Where have you been? Under the ice. The what is this shield way. doing down here? Oh, fuck. We are both tragedies, and now I send our tortured souls to rest. Wait! Don't do this. Please, stop this meaningless violence, destruction. Where's the love? You're Italian, right? All Italians are lovely. They love to love. Why can't you? My one great love. Tortured! I can be that. I can be the free soul that you can love. And how do you propose to love me in return? <clears throat> I can think of a few, uh... Few little extra optional uh, tools. Uh. <sighs> Motto bene. When I did not wish to fuck Captain America. Like he is most hard that's and amore. full of steel. When that's just my shield. Shine, like Stop you wiping your ass with it. Get off my shield. Oh. Lovely pizza pie. Well, uh, I can see that the cheese is all melted. When Captain America throws his mighty shield, all those who chose to oppose his shield must yield. If he's led to a fight, and a duel is due, then the red and the white and the blue will come through when Captain America throws his mighty shield.
Hello, everybody, and welcome to my review of the 1990 Captain America. Oh. 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 Right. Why? Okay, let's let's get this over with. Um, so the basic plot of Captain America is that it's about a young American named Steve Rogers. He has been chosen out of nowhere by this uh, German doctor for this super soldier program, hence becoming Captain America. During the super soldier program, she gets murdered, and she instructs him to go and stop them, and then he tries to he discovers the red the red skull and he tries to kill the red skull and then he accidentally gets frozen in the ice for about 70 years or so then he reawakens in the 1990s uh, he goes back to find his old love uh, who was now married and had a daughter um then well, they die and he he goes on a quest with the daughter to find the red skull and stop him You know, that's it. You know, I, I I don't even care. What? Why should I justify this movie? This movie, in case you didn't already tell by the tone of my voice, this movie fucking sucks. Alright? It is sucking so bad. The arse has been probed yet again. Oh, calm. Actually, no, 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 fuck it. Oh, I mean, this movie. This, this movie. <laughs> This movie sucks. It's so bad. Oh, I mean, first of all, the story is just bollocks. I I couldn't give a shit about Captain America in this movie. He's such a he's such a one-dimensional character. He doesn't even have two dimensions to him. He's such a boring protagonist. He he's he basically just becomes Captain America without any exposition, and he just gets the suit out of nowhere. It's like, oh, okay, they've already. Because they've already cho well, I suppose because they've already chosen him to be Captain America. But even so, it's like everything comes out of fucking nowhere in this movie. What the fuck is wrong with this piece of shit? Oh God's sake! I mean, you know, start where it starts. The, the fucking cast. I mean, <sighs> never have I been so disgraced by a set of performers. I mean, yeah, the Fantastic Four '94 movie that was bad. I mean, that was really bad. It's probably a bit worse than this, but they, the cast were... were ugh. This is about on par with that, which sickens me. Uh, Matt Salinger, he can fuck off. I mean, the guy's a fucking wooden plank. He's fucking skinny, and he doesn't have any acting range at all. I mean, you know, his acting ranges from wooden to bearable. But even then, you know, <laughs> it's not much to like. There's no character there. Every time he delivers the line, he's flat. The only time when you actually feel moderate emotion, moderate, you know, skill emoting from him is when he's in the scenes with um, Bernie. Uh, but even then, <laughs> uh, I'd, you know, oh, fuck it. it, it you know, it's... It, I don't know what to say, really. It's he's he's just fucking awful. Even in the action scenes, he's terrible. He really is terrible. Uh, the other casts, oh, I do have some of them up here. Ned Beatty is probably the best performer in it, and he gets killed off. He only he's, he's on screen for about 10, 15 minutes, and then he dies. Um, he was probably the best character in it. Uh, um, I like Ronnie Cox as the president. I suppose he was quite good. Um, the females are rubbish. <laughs> They're all crap. The one who plays Bernie, it's, she's so bad. I mean, the, the beginning when he goes off to go in his super soldier program, she's like, oh, I'll wait for you, Steve. I'll wait for you until you come back. I'll wait forever and ever and ever. Really? That is like, not even pantomime level acting. That is like, pantomime being like, over the top. That's like, oh. Fuck's sake. They just overplay it so much. They either overplay it or they underplay it. That's what the cast do. Um, and the other females, whilst 
really stunning to look at. Some really nice Italian girls. Um, they can't act for shit, which is such a shame because they they are amazingly stunning. They are amazingly attractive. I don't know what it is. I must have a bit of a, an attraction to some Italian girls. I, I just find them really quite beautiful, which they are. But the acting leaves a lot to be desired. Oh, I mean, oh, God. They're like the henchwoman. Um, and, of course, the Red Skull. Fuck. <laughs> this, this is what makes me laugh about this movie, is the fact that they don't even care that it's a parody. <laughs> They'd be happy to go to any length of cheese that they can. To, oh, this is the most unfaithful depiction of Red Skull. Since when was the Red Skull fucking Italian? I have nothing against Italians, but this character was, you know, German. I thought, you know, in the well, definitely in the in the MCU f film, the Captain America: The First Avenger, um, he was German, played by Hugo Weaving. He's Hugo Weaving, but on a German accent. This guy's fucking Italian. Like, what? I don't blame the actor per se. I mean, he does what he can with the role, but. It's just really bizarre casting. Why have you cast the Red Skull as a fucking Italian? Like, you know, what's this? Super Mario Brothers. Oh, God. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, Captain America, come to Pizza Hut in America, in Italiana. Look, I could go on and on. <laughs> I mean, the, the flip side to this is that we do get to see some good locations like Rome. Um, but that doesn't save this film. This film is terrible. Like, the structure is so bad. I mean, like, as soon as this man, like, Steve Rogers awakens after his hibernation, I'll call it, uh, in the ice, nobody really gives a shit. Like, they're like, oh, this man is, was under the ice. Like, the, there's only, like, two characters that really care. That's, well, the president, Tom Kimball, and then his friend, um, Sam Collowitz, um, who Ned Beatty's character, who dies. Uh, apart from that... Nobody gives a shit. They're like, oh, who is this guy dressed in fucking, you know, leotard? Oh, God. It's... <laughs> this movie is so bad. I mean, the production values are shit. It is really cheap. Really horrifically bad. The action sequences are fucking horrendous. I mean, they're probably not as bad as the Fantastic Four movie, uh, the 94 one, but still, that doesn't really... It's not much of a compliment. That isn't a compliment. The action is awful. One minute it's slow motion, then you've just got really bad punches and throwing of the shield, like... And the editing is so bad as well. Like, the way... When he throws the shield, the way they edit it is, like, really bizarre. Like, the angle, the camera angles are all, like... You just see it vaguely fly past. You're like, I can't tell where the thing is flying to. You keep cutting all the way. The best thing to do with something like that is to have the camera that sweep across as it... As, the, as he swings the shield, have the camera sweep across onto the subject that's going to be hit. That's how I would do it. There's no... I don't know. There's no There's no sense of weight to the action scenes. They're all limp and boring, so without life, and the climax is fucking shit as well. Like, he's supposed to be some kind of super soldier, yet he suffers under the most tiniest of bullet wounds you know, doy, doy. Where's the fucking logic in this film? In this movie, there's no logic. He's, you know, oh, <laughs> I, 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 I just honestly don't know what the hell. This doesn't feel like a Captain America movie. Like, you know, I would appreciate the emotional drama of this film, being the relationship between him and his girlfriend, or well, sort of girlfriend, if you know, the acting wasn't so cheesy. I mean. I mean, you know, even the production design is awful. There's no... Like, the sets are so bad. The opening scene... What the fuck? That is a weird way to start the movie. Like, having... Like, it's just this little boy playing piano. I mean, I get why the scene is there, obviously. It's, it's the young Italian... <laughs> Italian Red Skull. And then they take him away and like a, have, like, a gunfire. And then it all goes to shit. But, you know... I just don't get that. Like, the opening was so abrupt. It was so random. And then we have, towards the next few stages of the movie, <clears throat> we have, uh, during the Super Soldier scene where he becomes Captain America, um, he, there's this man that assassinates the Doctor, and that comes out of nowhere. He's like, oh, I'm, congratulations on your work. We're very proud. I'll 
I, I did perform it in my sketch, but I was like, that just came out of nowhere. Like, literally, the film, the first, like, 20 minutes, it's so quick, they're just throwing everything. They're like, this is, he look, okay, look, he's becoming Captain America, she dies, then he, he has to go off, then he gets frozen. It's like, where's the fucking structure, you know? <clears throat> It, it, you know, it's it starts out really quick and then it slows down to a sluggish pace. Oh, the pacing is so slow. Like, the first 20 minutes are kind of okay, like, in terms of pace. I mean, what, what there is in the first 20 minutes is bad, but at least you can kind of, like, brush it off. It's like, oh, yeah, okay, fine, we're, we're over it. Then the film just stops to a sluggish halt and remains that way till the end of the movie. Like... I, I mean, bar going to Rome, I don't care about any of anything else in this movie. Like, I didn't care about the characters. I didn't care about the drama. Well, there is no drama. The direction is fucking crap. Like, there's no exposition. There's no explaining about his origins. There's nothing. You can't invest in this character because they've not given him any kind of backstory. All we know is that, okay, he has a family and then he, go, he goes off <coughs> and he has a girlfriend. <coughs> But apart from that, you can't really invest in this guy. You know, he's not going through any kind of personal struggle or change. He's the same man from the beginning to the end. The only thing that there is in the film that is of any kind of revelation to him is obviously when he, he goes back, he goes forward in time and he finds his ex-girlfriend, um, his girlfriend married to her husband and they have a daughter. So there's that revelation he has to deal with, but... That, you know, his relationship with her wasn't meant to be. Which, that is the only thing in there. But even that itself isn't enough. I don't I don't know what, what you can say to justify this movie. It's so bad. And then it just ends. It just cuts off. It just ends. Like, so abruptly. Oh, I mean... Oh, God's sake. Like, it's just so cheesy as well. Especially when Captain America um, goes forth with, with the uh, president. And they team up. They try and fight their way through. I don't know, this movie's a mess. It's really disgraceful. Like, it doesn't do the character any justice. I am surprised that Stan Lee ever was involved with this. I think he was like an exec producer. You know, his material has been shit all over by the director. Um, who's the director for this movie? Uh, Albert Payan. Uh, I don't know what other movies he's made, but... Oh, this is shocking. This is really shocking. Oh, God. I mean, the one thing I will say is that it is probably better than the Fantastic Four movie that came out in 94. That movie was a fucking shit fest. That was difficult to sit through. This was just as painful. Um, and the Red Skull was just terribly done. Like, first of all, why was he fucking Italian? And secondly, you know... It, it just makes no sense the way he's introduced. He's introduced already as the established Red Skull villain. And then we next see him years later as just this Italian businessman. It makes no sense. They're fucking up the continuity here. It's so shit. Um, <clears throat> no character development whatsoever. I mean, you know, the only good character, as I said, was Ned, Ned Beatty's character. when he But he dies. And then you have the daughter of um, Bernie. She's okay her acting is awful but the character you know kind of um you know she does contribute to the plot actually a bit more than i thought she would so yeah i suppose that is an okay aspect to it the music is terrible as well i i hate that that cheesy nonsensical like electronic theme that they keep playing it's oh, it's such a mess it is bizarre how bad it is literally um and the film's like 97 minutes long and it feels so much longer god it feels so much longer i mean and also the red skull's death is really stupid as well you know you have you have him like fucking i think captain america like swings the shield and then he knocks him off but then you see him like spin as he goes down and, it, and then as they do they zoom out to like a wide shot um to cover up the fact that it's just a cheap model shot. It's just so bad. It's just so bad. Like, there's no creative choice with this film. There's no creative uh, endearment. They're all just basically saying, fuck it. Let's just, let's just make Captain America into a movie. We'll see how that works out. 
Yeah, well, I got news for you. It didn't work. It didn't fucking work. So rethink your fucking ideas and fuck the hell off. <sighs> sorry for the rant. Actually, no, I'm not sorry. Because they weren't sorry for making this, so why should I be sorry? This movie's a creative mess. It is one of the worst superhero movies ever made. It joins the pattern in that one. Uh, I have no reason to watch it again. Uh, I'm kind of excited to actually review the Chris Evans movies now. <laughs> after this. Because after this. Oh boy. <laughs> I like the Fantastic Four movies. There are actually three good to very good films in the Captain America series. This is... I don't know what to say really about it. It's a creative mess. The script is awful. Everything about it is awful. The only thing you can say is that it's nice to go to Rome. Yeah, that's it. And... Oh, honestly. I'm just done with this movie. I'm just done. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it, but... It's uh, <clears throat> it's really not very good. It's really, really not very good. Whoever thought this was a good idea was, was awful. And if they thought they were ever going to get a sequel to this, they must have been out in their minds. <clears throat> Truly a disgraceful movie. I, I, you know, I implore you if you have the time, or if you actually are considering to watch this, it's on YouTube, and you know it's it's going to be there. So. Watch it, see what you think. If you like shit movies, then you'll probably have fun with it. It's not even the fact that it's so bad that it's good. It's so bad that it's bad. I, I, I couldn't even watch this, you know, as a guilty pleasure. Because I, I don't know, with the MCU being so established now, I just don't think there is any much point in this. Oh, so anyway, that's really, that's really it. I... I can't think of anything else to say about it. What a poor film. Really bad. I mean, it's not the worst superhero movie ever, but it is down there. It's bad. I mean, I would still say that, um, you know, Batman and Robin's probably worse, uh, as is... What was the other one? Uh, Fantastic Four 94. Um, yeah, a few others. I had another one on my mind, but I can't remember. Uh, it's, yeah, it's pretty bad. Oh, Superman 4, yeah, it's it's probably not as bad as that, but it is bad, and uh, it joins them in the category of, yeah, you guessed it, 0 out of 10. When Captain America throws his mighty shield, all those who chose to oppose his shield must yield. If he's led to a fight and a duel is due, then the red and the white and the blue will come through when Captain America throws his mighty shield. Yeah, the fact that there's one good part of the film where you can go to a location, that doesn't really carry the film. It doesn't save it in any way at all. It just makes you... Uh, it, it just makes you go, why? 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 So anyway, that's it for now. Um, tune in next time when I review Captain America The First Avenger, which is a, a well, infinitely superior film. Uh, <clears throat> so... Uh, until then, folks, thank you all for watching, and as always, I'm Mr. Tardis11. See ya.